Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on the Coffee with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Michael Pacheco, and today with me I have Candace Kingston. Candace Kingston works with CEOs, executives, and business professionals to help them get over their self-doubt, also known as imposter syndrome. She helps individuals, businesses, and nonprofits learn to lead themselves, their teams, and their companies in order to become the people they were meant to be. Candace, welcome to the podcast. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, let's dive right in here. Question number one. Candace, why did you become a coach? Well, um, so as a little background, I have a degree in psychology and I always wanted to be a psychologist. I had three boys right out of college. And when I decided to go back to work, it was just quicker to get a job in sales. So I ended up spending 12 years in health insurance, realized I didn't fit there. And so just was looking for something that was more aligned with my values. I wasn't really satisfied with the work I was doing there and wanted to really help people be their best. So um, my mission just became to help people take off their masks and find the place that they fit. And coaching really just seemed to align with that. Love it. Question number two, what are you doing in your coaching business today that is unique? Well, as you said in the intro, I help CEOs lead, the, lead themselves so that they can lead others. And while that's probably what 90% of coaches do, uh, what I do that's more unique is really focus on that intersection between imposter syndrome or self-doubt and the attitudes and perspectives that people are held back with. By. So like, how does that energy impact them and their ability to show up and lead? Um, it's probably, you know, that's probably how I differentiate myself. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, question number three, where do you find your clients? So I did an audit in March of 2020, right when COVID hit, I thought that would be a good time to do a little bit of an audit on my business. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised actually to see that 50% came from referral and 50% came from or via LinkedIn and the community that I've built there. So, nice. That's yeah. great. Uh, question number four, what is the biggest challenge that you face as a coach? I think... Uh, I'm sure, gosh, I mean, I, I was trying to think of an answer to this one. I think I, I got a little bit stumped. I think there are a lot of challenges. <laughs> one is having consistency in clients and just always having, you know, a full roster. I think for me is, is something that I struggle with sometimes. But honestly, sometimes it's not getting involved too, too deeply, like not taking on their issues. As an empath, that's something that I struggle with is, wanting to commiserate with them or jump into their story and oh yeah that's happened to me and so i really have to hold myself back a lot of times and just okay just be a professional that's not what this is about um and, and try, you know just try to stay out of their story yeah yeah that makes sense so you gotta you gotta balance the i'm here to help you with i want to empathize with you mm -hmm, exactly um question number five if you had a do-over in your coaching business what would that be well, honestly, I think it would be to not, uh, well, I, how do I say this? So I had a belief that I had to stick with my career. I had to be an insurance broker. I had to, you know, some way, shape or form, either in sales or as an account manager, that was my chosen profession. And that was who I was and what my identity was and, and mm -hmm. who I needed to be. I don't know why I thought that, but, um, so my, my thing, if I could do over would be to start a lot sooner and to jump out of that as fast as possible and just to become a coach. Yeah. Yeah. No more hemming and hawing. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and on to the, the bonus question. Uh, what is one book that you recommend all your clients read? I have so many books. It was hard to think of one, but the one that probably lit my fire and got me really excited about helping others was The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. I think really understanding oh, your upper limit and how to push through it. It was something that was just super helpful. Yeah, that is a fantastic book. I, rec I heartily, yeah. heartily recommend that as well. Um, that's a great one. Candace Kingston, do you have anything that you would like to, uh, to add or, or pitch or promote? And also, if you could please let us know where our listeners can connect with you online. Definitely. So you can connect with me online um, on LinkedIn or at my website, www.kingstoncoaching.com. And yeah, I would love it if you would find me on, on LinkedIn because I am putting out a book. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm writing a book about imposter syndrome and I'm telling a lot of stories about different 
business owners and just people, you know, around the, the neighborhood, right? Like the girl next door type of thing, who mm -hmm. suffers from imposter syndrome and how does that show up and how can you get over it? And so really want to serve people with that book and, and put it all out there. So I'd love it if you keep in touch and, and I'll keep you posted when it comes out. <laughs> Love it. Candice Kingston, thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Coffee with Coaches podcast. Thanks again for having me. And thanks to our audience for listening. We will see you all next time. Cheers.